guys, how did Kaz end up at the bottom? How did Kaz end up at the bottom like a number two? How are we letting this happen? How are we literally with nah man? How are we letting this happen? And then you got Feddy there, Teddy and Faye. Yo, like who's voting for them? Who is vote? I swear down, whoever's voting for them, yeah? This Django Unchained 12 years of slave relationship ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you, once they get home, she's going to beat him like flipping Rodney King. Like how the police beat Rodney King. She's going to have him all looking black and blue. Forget that black because he's already black. She's going to make him have, him have him all looking blue and them things there. Yo, she should have gone home, man. A big part of me wanted her to go home. Partly because I want her to get home with Teddy and she can batter him like a piece of cod. Just show, beat some sense into him and them things there. This, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm sick of seeing both of them. Mainly her. Like, her lips are so big. They look like baby feet on her face and them things there. Like, where is she going? Anyway, like, <coughs> let me get you. Let me dig down into what really happened today and them things there. You know what I'm At saying? the beginning of the show, yeah, all the girls were sat outside talking about their experience on Love Island and how it's changed them and all that. And Mary was saying, oh, like, in a week's time, we'll be able to look back. And I was thinking, fam, you're going to be looking back tonight. Tonight in 24 hours. By the time I'm making this video, she's probably on the easy jet and them things. <laughs> she's probably in a barn somewhere clearing up a lamb's doo-doo. She needs to worry about that. Anyway, <laughs> Liberty went to look for Faye to go make sure there's no bad energy after the whole compatibility vote thing. She went to clear the air like a dehumidifier and all that stuff, yeah? But see this Faye girl, yeah? This girl is still holding on. She's still holding on to it like that flipping extension is holding on to her hair. She's holding on to it like her brown lipstick. This girl is proper like a broken record. That she, she ain't let it go. Like, bro, she's talking about, oh, the situation really hurt. It really hurt more than I'm letting on. What? <laughs> so that wasn't you letting on. Flipping hell. I would hate to see her go full throttle, full pelt when she's mad in them things there. What was that? <laughs> she wasn't letting on at like, all, she yeah? She basically said to Liberty, we're cool, but we're not friends. That's what she said to Liberty. This girl was acting like a victim. What's wrong? What's wrong with Faye? I swear she literally cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. This girl is nuts. She's a proper waste chick. She's acting like a victim. Like she is a victim and everything. Maybe that's why her lips look busted up, looking like two Savaloys and all that stuff. Maybe that's why she looks like that. I can't stand this girl. Oh my yeah. God. It's not even that deep. What's wrong with you? The girl just came to apologize to you and you're there just holding. Someone needs to slap this girl with a wet fish. I'm telling you, a medium-sized carp. Just box her across the cheek with it and let her lip go boo 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 and them things there. Try it. <laughs> this girl, she lost her mind. Trust me. Teddy needs to go help her find it. Then the baby challenge started, which was what most of this episode was about. The baby thing. You get me? Baby things. Anyway, yo, when Faye had that baby, yeah, I'm thinking, yo, with this girl and her anger... She's going to dash that baby like the discus at the Olympics and them things there. The way she'll swing that baby, she'll break new records. This girl, when her baby starts crying, what do you think she's going to do? Why are you crying for? You F off! <laughs> <laughs> Instead of raising a baby, she's just going to raise her voice. This girl, she does listen. listen. Faye would treat that baby like Oliver Twist, trust me. By the time that baby's four, she's going to be outside the shop buying B&H and them things there. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, did you not realise about how when the baby started crying and screaming and all that, she hated it. She couldn't stand it. See? It's not nice when someone's screaming in your face. It's, I would dash a shoe. Someone needs to dash a shoe in her face or fish or wet fish. Just, just a little... <laughs> like, Kaz had a little blonde moment, but we love her and them things there. Talking about babies breathing from the top of their heads. What? I think she's watched Free Willy too many times. <laughs> She's watched Free Willy too much times and she's seen that whale just go <laughs> and just blowing out the top of his mouth and them things there. That's not a baby. That Kaz, we love you still. We love you. Bless her. <laughs> Bless her still. Like, did you notice there were some really black babies in there? There was a really diverse cast of babies in them things there. It looks like Madonna's family. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looks like Madonna's kids in them things there. Toby and Chloe. Oi, see Toby and Chloe's baby, yeah? Trust me. The first word's going to be, nowhere. And their first toy is going to be from McDonald's. It's going to be a Happy Meal toy, and they're going to cherish it forever. I'm telling you, I can see how this is going to go for, going right now. And they're going to be Iceland specialists, frozen food merchants. I'm telling you, trust me, I can see this. And Chloe's going to smoke 60 a day. She already looks like she's smoking about eight. Toby was the first guy to drop the baby as well. <laughs> 
You gotta love this brother, bro. He can't even do no wrong. He was the first man. He dropped the baby like it was a log, like he was dropping the kids at the pool and them things there. He dropped the baby like it wasn't his. Had to laugh, had to laugh, but yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed, yeah, that the guys in this series are having a lot more fun than the girls? Because while they're getting the golf trips and doing all these fun things, and the girls ain't done nothing this series, nothing at all. That's a bit, that's a bit chauvinist still. Did you guys see Teddy and Faye showing PDA? <laughs> that was faker than Faye's lips, I swear down. That was disgusting. Watching that was like watching the I'm a Celebrity Jungle Trials. I was like, ooh. Uh, uh. What are you trying to prove? That you're compatible on them things there? Bro, you're as compatible as I am with a mermaid. What are you talking about? Anyway. <laughs> we don't believe you. You need more people. We don't believe that. BS. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. The guys all went out to play golf. Rewarded for God knows what. They must have done something that we ain't seen and all that stuff. Anyway, Kaz was looking after Toby and, and Chloe's baby, I think. Like, he, she had their baby. Yo, she pulled off the arm. She pulled off the baby's arm like he was flipping chicken wing in them till Like, she was breaking off a chicken wing with a jollof. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> it was an accident still, but that bit was and funny. And the guys that went and played golf, like I mentioned before, they had a little moment where they had a little wet, soppy moment and started talking about how much they loved their girls. But before that, did you not see Toby trying to play golf? Bro! Toby, him trying to... <laughs> Toby flipping like a penguin. A celebrating penguin or a penguin trying to do the uptown shake or something. What the... <laughs> you know, like, he just caught pneumonia with that posture. But yeah, Toby's funny. But yeah, at the end of the golf thing, they all sat down like the little girls that they are. They're talking Teddy. about having kids and the future and all them things there and their partners. And Teddy said, yeah, I think he said he wouldn't ask for anyone better. Bro, it's, there must have been an episode where this guy must have dropped off the terrace and we didn't see it. <laughs> Remember what happened to Rachel? <laughs> I reckon that happened to Teddy and we didn't see it. He must have bumped his head. Or maybe they're sneaking out the villa to go smoke some crack. It must be cracky smoking. What the hell? He will not have someone better. Bro, my shoe is better than... <laughs> my shoe is better than Faith. What the hell? Anyway, yeah. But Toby, Toby's my G. The, the way he loves off um, Chloe and them things there. Like, obviously, the beauty's in the eye of the beholder. To me, she still looks like Granny Smith. But yo, he loves off that girl, you know. Talking about, she's my girl and I'm addicted to her. Oh! I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. Listen, yeah, he loves her still. He loves her. Like I said, beauty is an eye of the beholder. And Tyler said him and Kaz are inseparable. Oh, oh, oh. They're like Batty and Bench. I love that. I love that. Mwah. Like it a lot. Except for Teddy's part. Fam, you need to go find someone better for yourself. <sighs> yeah, oh, anyway. Yeah, like, anyway. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see Teddy saying that his black baby has an angry face? Is that just me? Like, bro, this guy's got bigger issues than them homeless people's magazines, you know? I'm telling you, this guy's issues is huge, humongous. This guy, trust me, he's literally that guy from Get Out, that movie. Oi! He needs to go back to Wakanda and get his roots right, get his mind right. Because even, I don't know what's wrong with him. He came here looking like the young Mbaku, but he's acting, he's moving like, anyway, I don't even know what he's moving like. But yeah. Then the, the, the night time came. They had their little party, dancing and all that. They always enjoying their party. If I was them, yeah, whenever there's a party, I'm going to sit there like angry like this because I know someone's going home. <laughs> but yeah, it was Aaron and Mary. Aaron trying to hype up to Kaz yesterday. See where it gets you. Now you're going back out there. The world's seen your trim and it still ain't grown out. You just look dusty, fam. Look at you. You and Mary and your lamb. Go back to your barn, man, you waste man. Brother coming there with a Kim Jong-un haircut. Haircut half done. The clipper must have broke when the barber was doing your trim. You waste, man. Go back and finish it. Waste, man. You will never be remembered in Love Island. When people look at Love Island and think about Aaron, they'll remember the other Aaron, the one with the smelly balls. Not you. You know them ones there. But yo, tomorrow's previews. Yo! And do you know what, yeah? I don't want Liberty to be hurt, but I want her to be done with Jake. Jake. Listen, I'm in there tomorrow. Man, it's in there. 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. gang. You know how we do. Tonight's one was a bit dry still. 
like baby thing, innit? You know what I'm saying? Baby thing. Let me know what you guys think as usual. It's your boyfriend Stones, you know how we do.